Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Attack of the B Team. Welcome indeed to this wonderful episode number 39, where today we're starting off by inducting the newest member into our Hall of Cosmonauts. And this newest member is none other than our brother from Team Astro, Solar Corona. So let's go ahead and pay a visit to our friends in the Hall of Cosmonauts. Just do a quick review of who's in there so far. Just to give a quick shout out and thanks to all you guys who are supporting me in my series. Of course, we started off with Pro Beast. Here we have Blue Clan, Dirtman 4 changes skin up, Mr. Billy Bob, Hafiz the Killer, Jack Dognose, here we have Dempsey the Block, Humpty, Stephanie, Gaming for Fun, Logi, Tennessee Gaming, Jack T, Gaming Gamer and Death Sorcerer. So up next here, we're gonna add right next to Death Sorcerer, we're gonna add uh, Solar Corona. Now, Solar Corona requested for me to just put Corona on his sign, so we will definitely oblige him here. But let me open up my book so I could see the spelling of his in game name. So we got solar underscore corona underscore mc. Now, if you notice, that's the end of my list that I have so far. So if you want to be in the next episode, all you got to do, comment, asking to go in the Hall of Cosmonauts, put your name and your in-game name in Minecraft, and I'll make a statue just like I'm about to make now. I'll just show you. So we got solar underscore corona mc. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> I hit the wrong button and he's standing all crazy. Let me fix that. Okay, we got it all straightened up there. He derped and hit the ra randomize button. Let's sculpt Solar Corona's sculpture here and fill him in. Welcome, my brother, Solar Corona, to the Hall of Cosmonauts. Let's put up your sign. Simply Corona. And there you go. So, guys, once again, if you want to be in the next episode featured Hall of Cosmonauts, you're going to go right here. Drop a comment asking to join the Hall of Cosmonauts and put your in-game name so I can make your statue. And I will happily oblige. Let's head back home. And let's get started on today's work that we're going to be working on. And that is back at the... Jurassic Park Visitor Center. That's right. We're not done with fossils and archaeology yet. So I have a few things that I want to go over with you. A few items. Do I have it up here? Yep, I do. So let's fly on over. Put away my book and quill. Get that ready for when you guys drop that comment for me. And here we go into the beautiful Visitor Center. And the next thing we're going to talk about are... Right in here, the broken ancient helmet and broken ancient swords. These are a rare drop, not as rare as the scarab, the scarab gem, but a rare drop from fossils and the permafrost. And they also could even be found from analyzing biofossils and frozen meat and the such. So we got some more goodies in here that we could drop in. That stuff we'll put in our inventory system. And let's talk about what we need to get these from the Broken State, Broken Ancient Sword, and Broken Ancient Helmet and get them repaired. So the first thing we need is a work table. That's very simple to make. All you need is a crafting table and a piece of paper on top. So do I have wood on me? Of course not. That would have made me prepared. Shame on me. Let's grab some wood in here. We have some. And paper. 
that is another story but we could go ahead and zap on over to our item system and grab some paper let's see. I should have a whole bunch that I made up here yeah 741 give me one please and we could drop off this junk as well put away our hammer and there's our piece of paper so let's go ahead and craft a piece of paper on top of a crafting table and we got a work table all right so this is what we're gonna use to fix those broken ancient helmets and ancient swords so let's zip on over zoop back to our fossil um, research area here in this circular room and I think the fossil research area we're gonna place right over here just uh, right one right there and then maybe we'll put a chest there actually let's just leave it in the center for now break it one day you can do it okay almost there no nah, it's not gonna work get the Martok oh wow it's okay interesting a pick breaks this wooden structure so here's a GUI it has a space for input space for some type of fuel and a space for the output and this is how it works basically you grab the item you want to repair in this case we're gonna fix the ancient helmet right and then you need to place in there a relic that's it exactly a relic don't place a stone tablet or anything else okay so we go ahead and place the broken ancient helmet in here and the relic you could shift click and it'll go directly into the fuel slot here and as you'll see this hammer will slowly drain and this is the overall progress of the repair so as you see the hammer is draining a lot faster than the actual overall repair is going so it's gonna take several relics for this to get repaired what I'm gonna do is just speed up this process so you can see exactly how many relics it's gonna take to fix a broken ancient helmet okay so it's just about to finish repairing the helmet and as you can see we put in 64 relics we now have 54 it takes exactly 10 relics to repair and you see it went into the output and we have the ancient helmets so let's go ahead and remove all of our armor here and see what type of uh, armor it gives us okay so it looks like it gives us one armor point out of the possible 10 and let's go into F5 mode and take a look at what it looks like yes sadly in attack of the b team this get this um texture for the ancient helmet leaves something to be desired it's pretty much either missing or not working as intended this has been for a long time i'm not sure if this is going to get fixed but the ancient helmet texture on your head not looking too good so let's go back into first person view mode as you can see it gives us one point of armor uh, compared to well my helmet doesn't give us any protection it just gives us attack damage um, but let's grab a diamond helmet from spawn here or not spawn but the mad scientist cave that we have in here there's a diamond helmet take off our armor and compare Hey, let me get that. Thank you. So it gives you half a point less of armor compared to diamond. And let's compare with amethyst, which you get from the promised lands. Amethyst will give you actually three. So that's definitely a nice choice there. But it's not bad for early game to give you that. And it does nothing else that I have really uh, learned I've checked the wiki and other information about the broken ancient helmet not much else in the way of benefits for you 
but it is cool absolutely to put up on your wall so let's head over to grab some more wood we'll make ourselves some drying racks or maybe even and we'll start with the drying racks or maybe some shelves bibliocraft shelves what do you think guys let's look up shelf we have the cherry shelf how do we make that let's make that with some of this redwood to go with what we got here so that's just basically whoop group and one in the middle we got a shelf so and right here above that on the top we could pop not in there in my inventory in my hand put that on the top the repaired ancient helmet and maybe as a display we'll put a broken one next to it let's do it like this broken one repaired one okay and the same goes for the broken ancient sword but just so you guys could see um, I'm gonna do the same deal with the sped up footage just so you guys know exactly how many relics it needs now the reason that I'm being very thorough and showing you how many relics you need to have is because if we start repairing this and the relics run out all of this progress that's here is going to be lost. We're going to see that really shortly here. It's almost about to happen. As you can see, that little bit is filling in. And it's gone. All gone. We wasted that relic forever. So let's start off with a full stack of relics just so that we can be sure. And we'll start repairing this broken ancient sword. And trust me, guys, this one is a lot cooler than the ancient helmet. So let's wait for that to finish okay guys so as we can see the process is just about to finish here and just like with the ancient helmet we're left with 54 relics remaining so it took up a grand total of 10 so guys, if you find in your adventures in Attack of the B-Team one of these broken ancient helmets or broken ancient swords, make yourself one of these work tables and make sure that you place at least 10 relics in there to repair the item for you. So, enough with repairing stuff. Why don't we get it to work? And this bro, um, well, repaired ancient sword it's a pretty good sword. It has 8 attack damage. Let's uh, just compare that with other swords. Uh, compared with the diamond sword. The diamond has 7. That one has 8. Uh, Amethyst has 9. So not as good as Di uh, Amethyst. But this sword is going to be invaluable for one reason and one reason alone. And here we have our test subjects. We're going to explain why. <laughs> Call the lightning, guys. That's right. Every time you stab someone with this sword, it rains lightning down upon them. That is the coolest thing ever. You're basically just Zeus at this point. Let's make sure that we don't make it. What is this fire animation on me? Okay. There's just fire. There's just fire. <laughs> uh, you best play with fire. You're going to get burned. Does the water put it out? Yep. Okay. So that is... No. Just fire. Honest. That lives there now. So that is what the ancient sword is good for. And I wanted to give you a good tip. This is... Um, now you guys all know and love my friend Gucci. He holds my stuff for me. And you can see my Gucci is a little bit different than the standard luggage from open blocks here, right? He's glowy and most importantly, he is the space of a double chest instead of the regular space of a single chest that you get with a luggage. So let's grab ourselves a diamond, make ourselves a luggage. Let me just check on the crafting recipe here. 
Luggage is made with a diamond, a chest, and a bunch of sticks. Give me a chest and give me some sticks. I don't know. I'll just grab all the sticks and I'll put the rest back. All right. Diamond there. Chest there. And let's put back our armor while we wait in here. Here's the sticks. Let's go ahead and make a luggage. So here we go. We have our luggage. It's not Gucci, not special, has small single chest capacity. Here is the awesome Gucci double chest capacity. Can I have two of these guys out at one time and like the world isn't unraveling? Gucci, you're gonna follow me? Yeah, they just, you can have as many as you want, I guess. So let's pick up Gucci. Let's go outside. And uh, let's eat some cooked meat. Not descriptive, just meat. Don't ask where it came from. And what we need is to find something to stab with our shiny new sword. Let's head into like a cave. I'm sure there's some right over here, I believe. At the base of this hill. Hell. I don't know why I said that weird hell. Heading down. Yeah, I've done down here before. Where are you, bad guys? Bad guys? Hello? Did I put too many torches for my own good? There's got to be a baddie around here. There he is. Oh, uh, yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So we got um, Gucci here. And if we stab this guy... The lightning struck, but that's not what is important here. Here is what's important. Now, if a char, um, if a luggage gets struck by lightning, it gets charged. So you see, it's charged up just like Gucci is, and it holds double the capacity. So if you get yourself, and look, it's so funny, we got it from right on top of a fossil. So early in the game, it is uh, very advisable for you guys to find yourself some fossils and dig them up. Dig them up, get yourself an ancient sword, a broken ancient sword, pop that bad boy into a work table with 10 relics, okay? And that'll get repaired into a uh, regular ancient sword, which you could zap your luggage with just uh, to get it back to the point where, uh, or not back to a point, but charged up so that uh, you could hold double the capacity. It's a lot easier with diamonds everywhere in Attack of the B team. Getting a diamond and a chest and some sticks is no problem. The hardest part is going to be actually getting the ancient sword, but it's not too bad. I've actually had to delete some of the ancient swords because I've had too many. Now, this ancient sword also does, um, like, if you hit a creeper with it, it becomes a charged creeper. If you hit a pig with it, it becomes a zombie pigman. I'm looking around for a pig now because I want to stab a pig with this sword. And so any mobs that do get affected by lightning, uh, it does basically strike them with lightning. Let's see what happens if we hit a chicken with lightning. Kablow! Kablamo! Fried chicken, baby! <laughs> uh, let's see. Anything other mobs? I believe the pigs and... The creepers are the only ones that get changed by lightning. We got sheep everywhere. Where are you, piggy? You know, it's just like in Minecraft bingo. Whenever you want to find a certain thing, a certain mob, it becomes the hardest thing ever to find. I know there's piggies out here. I smell your bacon. Your delicious bacon. Uh, another thing... It's if you're killing a mob and you want their drops, I do not advise using 
the ancient sword because it makes that big ring of lightning. Uh, it makes a lightning that lights everything on fire around the area. So it will most likely burn up anything they drop. Pretty much uh, 99% of the time. And it won't strike lightning unless you actually hit and mob with it. You could uh, hit the floor all day. Nothing. Nothing doing. And is a pig ever going to appear for me? Or am I cursed to forever roam the land searching for the swine? Come here, piggy, 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 piggy. I want to show my friends how you turn into a pigman when I zap you with lightning. Oh, cool. Look at this. Is this a savanna biome? Let's have three of this. Yeah, look, the savanna from Biomes of Plenty looks very familiar to the savannas that are uh, in the game currently. Here we have cows. So let's see how the cows respond to a zapping. Oh, yeah! The steak's ready. It's well done. Aha! We have found the victims of our ancient blade to strike forth the fear Hiya! zombie pigmen arise arise and do my bidding pigmen you disgust me with your pig face yes that's right zisto i know that's you and i will smite you Let's make, there's a whole bunch of them. Pigmen, arise. Hey, that one didn't work. Arise, pigmen. Arise, pigmen. Oh, look, a pigman with a sombrero. I like you. I'm, you know what? You are remaining here. You're gonna remain a, bit, a permanent part of my LP. Guess what your name is? Oh my god, you guessed it. Zisto. Zisto has joined the LP, guys. So, let's uh, teleport back home. Oh god. Get out of here, guy. Actually, now that we're here, for the end of this episode, and I haven't done this in a, quite some time, but we actually ended up right here by the um, hang glider area. So let's, for the end of the episode, take another flight, just for old time's sake, in case anyone hasn't seen it yet, a flight through our hang glider course that we've made here. So, uh, let's just take a quick look here. We have a big, kind of like ski lift sort of thing. Well, really, it's more like an escalator. And let's go to sleep so we can see this properly in the daytime. Good morning. So let's pop that on here and take our uh, giant escalators up to the top here. Is this taking us up? Yeah. Up we go. My hands are off the keyboard right now. Off the keyboard, just escalator action. And here we have our little shop or resort area where you can rent your hand glider. And inside we have our shop that will remind you very much of Zelda shops with the items up on the wall and the shopkeeper name whose name is Beetle. It's funny guys that I made this and a few weeks after I did 10 Tennessee Gaming and I, we started up the Zelda build after I made the, the <laughs> Beetle shopkeeper here and his trusty friend kitty named by none other than tg original naming kitty <laughs> so let's snag a hand glider and let's go through our hand glider course so it goes off this way maybe i should make a little path indicating uh the exit but it goes off this way and then we have the little rings kind of like um 
any flight simulator game has this feature where you have to fly through the rings. So we'll just jump and take flight through our rings in our hand glider course. There we go. Oh, we're a little bit high here. And it... Oh, no! I'm going to have to cheat a little bit. I'm going to fly to get back up. Okay, I'm not flying anymore. And that one we're too high in. Okay, fixed it. Now you got to slow down and speed up to get the right altitude. It's really fun. It's not just, you know, glide through it and it's that easy. And in through the last one. Perfect drop right through the portal. And it teleports us automatically right on back. Let me show you that it's an enhanced portal and in the center there's action of the targets here and this is just a freestyle area let's freestyle down here that's the actual course and it goes around this away and then you land there get teleported back here and here you could just freestyle and you fly around have fun and try to land on this target so you can see that little red speck in the center that is actually a portal linked to that one so it's just gonna pop you right down there now these all are connected so this is the end of the course that's this one so sometimes it'll take you to the wrong one and you just gotta hop out and hop back in but you eventually get to the right one and that's what counts right guys <laughs> so let's close up the doors let's teleport back home here we are let's give Janeway a treat because we haven't given her a treat in some time she's a good girl and let's take a seat at our cabana our tiki oh no where's our we had a bartender he's gone now rest in peace bartender but guys I'd like to thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, guys, to drop that comment if you haven't already to get into the Hall of Cosmonauts. You'll be in the next episode guaranteed if you hit that comment for me. And if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button for me. I'd really appreciate that as well. And I will see you later, Cosmonauts!